Hello, my name is Bubu, and this evening I'm going to be showing you how to make a lift view from the Recycler View. Recycler View is the new lift view that came with Android Health out released last week. And if you go onto the Google website, um, they provide a code snippet, but the problem is it comes with a root item which is a text view. But our, we want our lift view to contain other items, so I'm going to be showing you how to make that. Yeah. So first thing is we're heading to Android Studio, create a new project, yes, call it Recycler View Demo, yes, Bank Activity, yes, we leave everything as it is, we overwrite whatever is there yeah and then yeah probably want to set our gradle i'll use the local distribution found that um, yes so main activity is going to be found here so yeah so we head over to site and then yeah start by copying this one into the uh, activity main external file replacing the default hello world text view that was created and we are going to be referencing it using my recycler view yes so uh, yeah so next step is copy this part of the code to yeah. yeah but before we continue we have to add the and support library which is found at the bottom of the page and go to my build.gradle then sync now yes yeah, so that's to import then yeah we go on importing so inside the on create we are going to be calling this methods and then yeah <coughs> importing the required files so this is the recycler view being referenced here and this is a parameter which is necessary then yeah so we are going to be passing a custom adapter class so why don't we create that in java class yeah so head over here copy the adapter class that was provided for us yeah, so copy it over here and then import the required files So, yeah. So, um, before we go on, we are going to be passing um, items to this adapter. And the items I'm going to come in, um, we'll put inside an array list containing maybe a class called Pujo, um, a Pujo called My Pujo. So, let's create the array list for the class of my pojo which is we call it pojo's new <coughs> array list terminate it here and we create the my pojo class Yes, um, so um, it will contain three items. Um, this is dummy text, so anything will do for now so far as. Yeah, which my spelling. 
string title string description and then an, an image file so um, let's initialize it using a constructor for all three items and then you think a getter for all three items so this here average pujo yeah so yes um, so for to populate this array list we are going to be using a for loop should be here Probably twenty and I plus 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 plus. Um, so we are going to be doing produce dot add um, new my pojo. So we initialize it using maybe title. Eighth item um, description. Um, this is a description text. And then an image. So as I have my image files here, so I'll copy that into the drawables. the black hat first and then yeah close it off and then we pass the my the pujus yes here yeah. so then we head over into this constructor and then change the item to an array list containing my pujus let's call this one probably pujus and call this one we just to so name this data set put in name it here pull use yeah, so this one will be this dot pull use cut this but this one has to be an array list containing my pujus <coughs> yeah so we want to create a custom layout um, and then yeah we we'll create the resource uh, relative layout and then yeah so we head over to the design section and add large text for the title uh, small text for the description and an image view yeah so we call this title we call this description and then yeah so we want to give them the pattern of about 6 dp uh, quite too much um, 3 dp would be just fine and give this one the pattern of about 2 dp just to separate the items a little bit we call this one to pattern of 2 dp and then maybe we some have a pattern of 3 dp yes so yeah that's about it um yeah so we remove this line so um this view is returning a text view but we want it to be um, a normal view so we change this one to view change this one to 
here. Want to return F here. And we want to return exchange sample to here. Yes. So yeah, we want to return the produce size of the array list. Yeah, so this is where the magic is going to be happening. So we just get each item in the row layout by referencing it like this, probably tight. So let's go to holder and rename the variable to view. And we do a find view by ID. And so close it off. And then cast it into a text view. We do it same thing for the description. And then, and then we get the image. Image view. Where we set items, item, set text. So we are going to be using produce, but we'll get the position and then calling a get title function on it. So the same thing for description. So the image field resource and get produce position and then call the get image on it. Yeah, so that's about it. That should do it. So if we should run this file, um, I'm using. Um, Gini motion so if you see it compiled and in a moment yes so, so which is it? yeah so that is it uh, if you want to add um, uh, probably an on click item to the image view set on click listener and new anonymous event handler um, just set the image view to have to make this variable final then yeah so that should be it should update in a moment <coughs> so that is it uh, if you should click this the image should change uh, so, yeah so you start this any way you want so that's about it then. Um, so tweet me at kipubu um, ask me anything um, so that um, leave your comments below um, whatever I think of my videos yeah so thank you <laughs>